Okay, minus the battery I don't feel like buying, I've gotten this JBL Flip Original 100% working. This has been a long, long project, but uh, sometimes I like doing long projects because I learn a lot along the way. And you'll see here if you can make it out. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can put it under the microscope. There is a very fine, <laughs> very fine soldering done to a 10-pin FPC connector because the one that's built in... The uh, the one that's built in was uh, is a nine pin and the cable was damaged and I did not feel like ordering one from China and waiting forever to get it, so uh, I hacked in a ten pin one. Not a big deal except for that small soldering, and uh, since I got this trusty microscope, not too worried about it. Uh, when that cable wasn't working though, the power on and off stuff wasn't working, so I was uh, concerned that that actually had something to do with the microcontroller, but it does not. Shuts off just fine. Very happy with this. Um, I could put in a battery later to find one that's the right size. I'd have to spend like 10, 20 bucks for replacement, wait forever for it to come. And I don't really care if this has a battery. Uh, I'm not planning on going anywhere right now during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm just gonna be sitting at home and playing music on this thing on my computer. So I've just uh, rigged the battery power input through a fuse to the, uh, to the uh, charger input, and then the charger input is actually not connected to the charger right now. So it goes straight to the battery, and I'm just using a, not a 12 volt power source, but now a 7.5 volt, uh, because the battery is a 7.4 volt nominal two cell lithium ion battery. I gotta put some uh, hot glue around this, because the air pressure could knock those wires loose. That's kind of the last little step. Then I'm going to put this all back together and uh, maybe add a little bit of sealant as well for some parts of it because it needs that. And then that'll be done. Sweet.